Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty. It's time to free another infested base with quite a few aliens in there. We could easily kill all of them, but I am trying to actually quote unquote save a couple of them by knocking them unconscious. So, how do we want to do that? Um, yep, got a lot of uh, the right tools, the right weapons for us. Good. Team is ready. Very good. Let's deploy. There we go. We landed. And this time we are the attacker. Oh, and we don't have... We don't have... Frenzy. Ian. Oh, that's going to suck. Well... Shattered Realm will need to pick up the slack in that case. Good, moves up. We got paralysis for you. And for you, my friend. Euler moves up. Yeah, I was afraid that that might happen. Okay, we can't... We can't let him... Continue with that. Mm -mm. Dranks, I need you to help me. <laughs> Luckily, melee attacks do not trigger return fire. Billy moves up. Good. Almost everyone is paralyzed now. Euler continues to move up and let's do that. And whilst we're at it, how about a little bit of... Shooting against the gun. Brad moves up. <sighs> there are potentially more of them in here. Dashing, yes. Move into here. And then there you go. Everything's paralyzed. Uh, 
And I think that's end of turn. Since we're not on a timed mission... I suggest we're just continuing to paralyze uh, everyone. I think that acid is reducing armor, if I'm not mistaken. And robots are particularly weak against acid. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I've reduced armor. One, two, three. One. Two. Dish over. Three. Good. Many, many rounds of paralysis to come. Just double checking whether or not I can heal anyone. Apparently acid cannot be healed off. I really need to look uh, into what nanites and acid and the other special abilities are doing. Free reload. Are you kidding me? You've just... No. No. Oh, fair enough. Okay. I was about to say, you've just noticed the same enemies that have been there the entire time. Well, good job. Yep, we got more enemies in here. Fantastic. So before we move any uh, further, really want to make sure that everybody here is very well paralyzed, which we now did. Um, One, two, and you know, since it's a good day, I will even give you one bonus shot. There we go. More overwatch. They are really far away.
one. And I prefer a little bit more protection here. Ranks moves over again, doesn't want to trigger anything. Good. Next turn, that guy is going to go down. In the meantime, 20 rounds for each of them, easy. moves up actually moves up quite a bit and putting a decoy in here four enemies uh, there good to know Polly moves up and I think we can heal once Just making sure everybody is fully topped up. Okay, five enemies. For whatever reason, they are trying to damage the base, although they had protected it. Since that was incredibly foreseeable. I'm not even aggravated about it. It was clear that it would happen.
That's one. Open up. Bang. Bang. Moves up. Everybody's war cried. Good, and even Polly moves in. End of turn. Since they are already so paralyzed, there isn't really much that they can do. Good, we're talking about very par paralyzed at that stage. Drangs moves up. This, by the way, is an acid worm. I would love to keep. Uh, I would love to keep them because we're still missing one. Good, Butcher moves up. Dilly G moves up. And I think we're done. Only that worm is left. It would be cool if we could capture it. Very nice, we've captured every single enemy there is. And we haven't even used a lot of resources. That's a pretty imbalanced strategy. I wonder if that already works in the earlier game. I mean, all you need to do is you need to be fast and you need to be able to shift resources to melee attackers. You can capture a a hell lot of uh, enemies with that.
And since the paral uh, paralysis uh, thresholds aren't that high, eh, maybe the la for the larger enemies like the Skrilla and so on, it'll be a bit harder. But just very generally speaking, almost anything is easily capturable. So for the easy price of a hundred material, we got ourselves one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, before we 10 11 so 11 enemies and before we do that let's uh, research uh, the specimen and then we harvest uh, harvest it so basis this year is Newfoundland Energy repaired research lab. Oh, yeah. Finally, we got a research lab here. We need a mystery pillar. And the scanner. And already a bit uh, shy on technology. Good. So. Come on, see, I hate it. I, I will not. Research complete. I will not speed that up again. New items for manufacture available. What? The Mewtook is a fierce creature that combines the ability of characteristic of multiple animals, destroys walls, and regenerates body parts. Mutation. Mutox is extremely sophisticated and requires a generous supply of mutagens. Okay. What is that? A vehicle? No way! Oh, wow, cool! <laughs> That is so cool. Venomous head uh, can spit for action points and has big fat slasher tail. Speed 28. Okay. This is the bleed tail and this seems to be the shred tail. Good, good. As the shock tail. And a bit more armor is the slower uh, variant. Okay. I see, okay, so then there is the ram guy. Cool. It requires a lot of mutagen, but we do have an ample supply of mutagen. So once everybody is mutated, I could even see that we place these bad boys in our bases if they don't eat anything. If they eat something, then yeah, bad luck. Come 
Can't really do that. Uh, we need to move over here. that be for now the Jericho Haven is under attack okay well see that ain't a problem because funnily enough our prime team is here and we can deal with that in a second um, on another note so that is the beta team these guys here are the gamma team cool vanessa got a level up great range deployment this here is manticore 4 i think that's the echo team the team that I was just starting to equip. And then I was running out of mutagen. So, you, my friend, need that and that. And in that particular team, um, are we going to make you a dual class? That's a good question. Certainly have the points. And we could mutate your head, meaning we'll give you a couple of good legs as well. Here you go, cool. For the time being, helmet and that, and you're going to be fine. So, as a heavy, there is the good old combination of that and that, and you're all set. Okay, so that essentially is team number Echo. We'll just need to give them weapons. Okay, so do you have anything else that you could use? Well, PDWs would be good, sniper rifles would also be good. For the time being, it's this crappy gun. Good, this here is an assault. Might as well give you a proper weapon. Shotgun for melee. So yeah, 
pretty much okay. Uh, it's not fantastic equipment, but it will get the job done. Uh, we do have a berserker here. That pistol, extra ammo, healing item, and here. Take some of that and a grenade and you are fine. I don't need something to reload. You're good. Good. So they are semi-equipped. Not great, but okay for now. I'm just double checking if someone needs mutagen or if I can build these cool new toys. Barbor, we wanted to keep as is. Polina, we've already mutated and equipped. And that is the Foxtrot team, the newcomers. So I think the new manufacturing will not happen at this point but we can capture new aliens and then it'll eventually happen so we got a heavy here yeah, i need some heavy armor for the torso got a berserker got an infiltrator for the infiltrator I actually like uh, these torsos because you can sneak up and paralyze uh, the enemy Good. And that already took all of our mutagens, let alone going through the others. Berserkers here. Oh wow, yes, indeed, a couple of berserkers here. And an assault. Interesting combination. We definitely need to spec into support classes. Good. These guys need anyways more experience. Uh, that's unfortunate. We really need a lot of mutagen for full equipment. But think about it for, from a positive perspective. The mutagens are almost like free resources that we can get uh, during 
uh, these missions. And all we need to do is capture aliens in order to do that. Good, we're going to do that mission in a second. Yeah, overall our resources dwindled a bit. But the good news is if we really need food, the easiest way of getting that is, guess right, uh, capture a few more aliens. That is attacking strength 20, holy moly. But it's our prime team, so if anyone can do it, it's going to be them. It'll happen in the next episode. Uh, so. Um, if you want uh, to have a uh, attack strength of 20 for this channel, uh, then I would recommend to you that you click the like button. That is how we're getting more resources. And it's free. It's a good uh, feature. Thank you, have a good one, and see you in two days. Bye-bye.